I'm Abigail Testa. I'm an editor here at Newsweek in the Daily Beast, and I'm here with Trey Miller Rodriguez, who wrote a really fascinating essay for us for Mother's Day about a blast from the past on Facebook. Tell us what happened. Um, I gave a daughter up for adoption when, um, when I was 18, and she friended me on Facebook last <laughs> summer. Um, now, in the comments, some of the um, some people zoomed in on the biological father. What happened to him? He was um, a high school boyfriend, and um, tell us what happened there. Yeah, of course, there's there's a story. Um, it was a tumultuous, very short-lived relationship, three months. Um, mm -hmm. He was older. I was 18, mm -hmm. he was 23. Mm -hmm. And after we broke up, I invited him to my first two doctor's appointments, and he didn't show up. Um, and he was seeing other people. And I just had a flash of what my future and my daughter's future would be like for the next 18 years, chasing mm -hmm. this guy for formula or diaper money. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, he didn't seem terribly interested. Mm -hmm. So I didn't bother sending him the adoption memo. Right. And he wasn't terribly interested um, until he was served the adoption paperwork. And right. Then, Where he had to sign away right. his rights. And then he somehow became very interested. And right. But eventually he saw it too, that it wasn't the right thing. Well, I, I think it was actually um, a gesture of condolence. Uh, my brother had introduced um, Griffin and right. I, and he came to the funeral, and that was essentially his condolence was. Right. After my brother died, he, um, he offered to drop the adoption. So I think right. that was, I'm, I thought that that was noble. Well, it's an incredible story. And, and now, ever, so you've been in touch now about six months, right? Yeah. And um, where are you guys at now with your relationship? What's the next step? I know you've written a memoir. I have, I have. Um, well, the next step in terms of Lori is we're meeting in July in California, where she'll be meeting um, her grandparents and her great grandparents. Wow. And they actually, must be thrilled. they're so excited. My grandparents are 90. They've been calling wow. her the lost great grandchild for 18 years, so wow, they'll be excited. Um, um, but she will also be uh, reuniting with her biological father while she's out there as well. Oh, wow! So, so he's not being cut out of the story completely. Oh, that's great. That's nice. Yeah. Yes. Wow. Well, that's going to be a wild reunion. <laughs> yeah, I would imagine. Yeah, she's be a fun sleepover. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. Thanks so much. Well, thanks so much for sharing your story. It was a tremendous Mother's Day story. Thank Just you. Really a beautiful thing. Thank you so much for having me.